Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about my favorite things. Things that I'm currently loving, things I'm obsessed with, things that I just really want to share with you guys. I will be linking everything down below so if you have anything you're interested in, you can check it out. First thing I'll talk about are some books, podcast stuff. So I've recently tried to get into reading and I did not know where to start. Of course, TikTok helped me out. I was getting so many recommendations for Colleen Hoover. Probably heard of this author. You've probably seen a lot of her books. There's a reason they are so hyped. This is it Ends With Us. It's a beautiful, heartbreaking love story about a girl named Lily who lives in Boston, which is kind of why I picked this book first from Colleen because I also live in Boston, so I thought I could relate to it a little bit. She meets a neurosurgeon named Ryle and they fall in love. They have instant chemistry, but she also runs into a guy from her past named Atlas. So we're kind of going between the past, the start out with Atlas, and the present, the start out with Ryle, and they're kind of intertwining. It's very, very beautiful. It's super well written and it's the kind of book that I really got into and I couldn't really put down. I read this in three days, which for me is extremely fast because I'm a pretty slow reader and I'm not easily entertained by books. If you are wanting to get into reading, you don't know where to start, you should start with Colleen Hoover. I've only read this book from her, but I'm going to read them all because I'm convinced she's brilliant, she's genius. I do want to say though that this book does talk about domestic violence quite a bit, so there are some triggering things in it, so if that is a trigger for you, I wouldn't recommend this book of hers, but definitely go for one of her other books. You've seen me use this before. I use it every single morning and night and I love it. Again, this is something that I feel like everybody has at this point. It's basically just a little journal that you can use in the morning and the night and it has little prompts. So in the morning, you write down three things you're grateful for, three things that would make today great, a daily affirmation, and then at nighttime, you just reflect on the day and you write down three amazing things that happened and then how you could have made the day better. So this is a really good way to get into journaling if you just don't really know where to start with journaling either. It's very simple, it's very quick, it's not too overwhelming, but I really do notice a difference when I use this journal because it gives me an opportunity in the morning to start my day off on a good note and to think about how I can make this day a good one. And at the end of the night, I can reflect on why this day was amazing, what am I grateful for, and how how could I have made a day better and it helps me improve the days in the rest of my week as well. My next favorite is a podcast. If you have seen One Tree Hill and you already know where I'm going with this, you need to listen to the Drama Queens podcast. I've already talked about this one of my blogs, but I'm so obsessed and I'm still so in love with it. And I wanted to mention it again because it is my favorite podcast I've ever listened to. Hosts of the podcast are Sophia Bush, who played Brooke in One Tree Hill, Hillary Burton, who played Peyton in One Tree Hill, and then Joy Lenz, who played Haley. I love their energy and they really just vibe well together in the podcast and they have really good flowy conversations and they just tell you all these behind the scenes stories of the One Tree Hill set and the One Tree Hill cast. And for me, because I'm so obsessed with the show, I just love hearing what happened behind the scenes and what went on and how the show came to be and the decisions that went into making it. And I love hearing about the actors and their thoughts on the characters that they played and their take on everything that happened. It really analyzes the show and and if you haven't seen One Tree Hill yet, definitely watch it. That's been an all-time favorite of mine, but watch it and listen to the podcast at the same time. So the first episode of the podcast corresponds to the first episode of the show. You can go through it with them if you're watching One Tree Hill for the first time, but they do kind of give away some spoilers. They talk about some things that happen later on in the show. So just be aware of that, but it is an amazing podcast, so entertaining. I always listen to it on Monday mornings on my way to work and it makes my days so much better and I always look forward to it. Let's jump into some beauty things. Before I put on any makeup, I always put on an SPF and this SPF has been a favorite of mine. I absolutely love it. This is the Sunday Riley Lighthearted Broad Spectrum SPF 30. Sunscreen is so important and it's becoming more talked about today in your skincare routine, which I think is amazing. It does leave behind this really nice glowy finish, but it doesn't have any sparkle or glitter in it. It just looks like you're glowing from within. It's really nice for my dry skin. And most importantly, this does not break me out, which is amazing because I have really sensitive skin. I break out super easily and a lot of sunscreens can break me out, but this one does not do that and I wear it every single day. And I would highly recommend incorporating an SPF into your skincare routine. And if you have problems breaking out, 
Maybe try this one out because this worked really well for me. Finally found the beauty in liquid and cream makeup products. They look phenomenal on the skin. This is a product from Charlotte Tilbury. It is, I don't know what it's called because the labels kind of come off now. I've had this for a while and I've loved it for a while. It's kind of a primer or a base. I don't really know how to describe this very well, but I put this on before I put on any other makeup, kind of using it as a primer. It's very glowy, but it also has a tint. So I'm in the shade too light and it has this tint to it that kind of covers any redness discoloration on your skin it just evens out your skin tone while also giving you a really nice glowy base so i love using this because i will just put this on and then concealer over top where i need it i don't feel like i need to wear foundation from rare beauty this is a beautiful liquid blush i have the shade bliss i've been loving it i put it kind of on the high points of my cheeks and this color kind of gives you that look of a sun kiss which is out in the sun for a beach day flush and i really love it it looks so natural on the skin and it definitely blends in super well it's very pigmented you only need a tiny little dot of this and it goes a very long way i just love how this product will just sink into the skin it doesn't sit on top or look weird like powder blushes sometimes can do again rare beauty does it again this is their liquid illuminizer i got it in the shade enlighten this might be their lightest shade because i'm a pretty fair skinned girl but I love the color of this. It kind of is like a pearly opal color. It gives a beautiful sheen to your skin. I just put it on the high points of my face. It makes you look very glowy, but not glittery. And again, doesn't sit weird on top of your skin. It soaks in very, very well. We need to talk about this concealer because it is so good. It's the Kosas Concealer. I'm in the shade 1.5C. This stuff is incredible. I was a Tarte Shape Tape girl for so long swore by it, loved it, but I noticed that it was starting to look very heavy, cakey, kind of dried out. It clung to every single dry patch on my face and just didn't look natural. This is like an elevated version of the Tarte Shape Tape because it doesn't cling to any dry patches on my skin. It just glides over the skin so beautifully and nicely and it covers everything too. Very full coverage, but it doesn't look like you're wearing a ton of makeup, which I love. Finishing off with a few fashion favorites. We have a workout tank and it's from Lululemon. It is a ripped material that's very fitted. It holds me in very well, but I love the cropped fit of it. I just really find that tank tops that kind of cut right at the top of your high-waisted leggings are the most flattering for me. This one is just that. And I love that it's a high neck because I do not love when workout tops have cleavage. I just am uncomfortable, but this one is great because we have a nice high neck but a low back all my healthcare workers i have found the perfect pair of scrubs these are the high-waisted zamora bottoms i love high-waisted pants in my normal life they're just more flattering on me in my opinion when i found out they made high-waisted scrubs i was like sign me up get me every single color and i love them they are the most flattering scrubs and then i get the one pocket scrub top so i can tuck it in it is a look there's a lot of pockets in here so you can hold a lot of things on you if i have the navy pair here i also have them in black i can't see enough good things they're amazing the last thing i want to share with you guys are the shoes that i've been wearing with literally everything these are the white high top converse but they're the platform ones and the platform is what makes the difference i wear these shoes with every outfit they just look so good with anything i love wearing them with little dainty dresses to make them more casual and fun they look amazing with denim they just make your legs look so good and they make you look extra tall your legs look extra long and they are so flattering i wear them all the time and i just couldn't not include them in the favorites video because i've had these since christmas and i've been wearing them non-stop those are all my favorites thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this and hope you found a few little things that maybe you're interested in everything linked below in case you want to pick any of these things up that's pretty much it i love you guys so much if you want to subscribe down below that really helps me out a lot. I will see you guys in my next video.